On this episode of Keto and Friends, we're going to talk with Richard and Autumn from Watch Autumn Keto. And we will chat with the cutest couple in keto right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos, we do product reviews, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. That's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah. Now I have a cheat cake already because I know who we're gonna be chatting with today. <laughs> so on today's episode of Keto and Friends, we're gonna be talking with our good friend Autumn and her husband Richard. From Watch Autumn Keto. From Watch Autumn Keto. And we absolutely love Autumn. We got to meet her last year. We did a collaboration with her called Cut Down to KetoCon. And then we got to hang out with her at KetoCon and we were immediately drawn to her personality. She's got so much energy. She's got so much positivity. And she's just an incredible person to talk to for a while. And if you thought that it couldn't get any better, then she married Richard. Yeah, and they're just an incredible couple together. They're amazing. Like seriously, hashtag couple goals. <laughs> he is such an encouraging person and he just continues to light up the space that she's in. Yeah, so we're gonna roll this interview that we just finished with her, but I do wanna say there was a little bit of buffering because again, everything's through the internet, with Skype and everything like that. So bear with the buffering. The audio is pretty good, but just once in a while, the video aspect gets a little choppy. Afterwards, we'll come back and we'll just kind of wrap things up. What's up, guys? We are here with two incredible people. We've got Autumn and Richard, and we absolutely love them. I mean, every day I get in the car, and when I'm driving around working, I get to turn on and it always happens to be at the time when they are live streaming and it just like brings a brightness to my day. Autumn is one of the most positive people I have ever met. She's somebody who welcomed us into the keto community. And I mean, it's just been awesome since day one. She's lost an incredible amount of weight on keto. She has an incredible YouTube channel where she does, you know, what she eats and meal preps and live streams every single day at 930 with her awesome husband who I want to be best friends with. Yeah. And <laughs> because she definitely met the Prince Charming to her princess yes. because Thanks. they are just an amazing couple. So, so how are you guys doing? Ah, uh, we are amazing it's absolutely wonderful like we're i guess you could say we're still in that newlywed phase mm -hmm. but uh you know the honeymoon's not over i don't you oh, know like it's, it's just like we're doing really really well exactly it's, it's like i'm <laughs> my, my opposite oh my gosh a complete match <laughs> we were just talking about that, that that you know it's you know the whole pandemic thing i mean it a little bonus is that you guys get to be together a little bit more right now. Super duper. Oh yeah, and, and I mean, I personally love that. Like I have never met someone ever in my entire life that I just literally want to be in the physical presence of mm. more than my amazing husband. So like now we have no excuse not to, which is best case scenario. It goes by right. way. <laughs> now the video where you revealed that he was by your side, like the whole time, I, it was like the was best crying. ending to a <laughs> like a romantic movie I've ever seen in my life. And they, now they do say that the first year of marriage is the hardest, but I don't think that you could have anticipated pandemic as like your, <laughs> your challenge. So yeah. what are some things that you guys are doing um, to stay positive, to have some individual space when you need it, and then also to grow stronger as a couple? Richard, take oh, it away. Wow. What, are, what um, are we doing to stay positive? Well, I mean, I don't know if you know this or not, but her um, energy is very infectious. So it's kind of like, I don't mind being around her that much. So <laughs> and, and even when we do get like an annoyed, quote unquote. Yeah, with each other, like, being around each other too long. I have chores to do. She has things to do. So we always keep busy. We yeah. are, like, I'm either outside doing the yard work mm -hmm. or she's downstairs like, 
in my t-shirts. office. T-shirts. Yeah, he, he has a man cave upstairs. The good thing about our house is that there are plenty of separate spaces that all have separate uses. So mm. we have the common living area. We have the kitchen. But I have my office downstairs. He has his, you know, upstairs. And it's like we get to see each other as often as we want and yes, not see yes. each other as often as we want. And so that's really yeah, helpful. Exactly. You have this entire house, yet he's still potting plants in the living room. <laughs> I had to go and watch it. As soon as you said it, I had to go watch it. <laughs> so, I mean, well, the, one thing that. That I, <laughs> I, the one thing I appreciate so much about Richard is just that he just does things that I would never think to do. You know, like it's really... When you're used to being by yourself for so long, like, you know your habits, you know what you would do and what makes sense. And then you meet someone who just has, like, a completely different frame of reference. And like, oh, this must make sense to pot these herbs in the living room. And well, like, what that, what goes un, unsaid is that I did lay down, like, rows I mean, of cardboard he put some cardboard and stuff down. down. So it wasn't, like, hitting the carpet and I was... So but there, still, there was a layer there. There was a buffer there, but still, like, I, I, and I had no idea that was happening. I came around the corner and I'm and what is this? And so the problem is, the, the funny thing is, Richard really has to realize, like, at any moment, the camera's liable to come out. And I'm just like, look what he's doing now. That's now. what shocked me. So. That's what shocked me. I wasn't prepared. I was like, ah. <laughs> Caught me with, with yes, my hands yes. in the dirt. I thought so, I could yes. sneak it in before the camera came no, on. No, the camera's I, always I nearby. Was, I, was, I say yeah. it every day that, like, I I love Richard. He is just awesome. He reminds me of me. I feel like if we lived close, we'd be, like, best friends. And it uh, reminds me, because, like, yeah, Rachel caught me one day, like, dismantling a lawnmower engine in the family room. Because that's where we do those things. You see? You see? Well, it's, it's, it's not that far-fetched, you, apparently. You want to like, still be in the area, you know? You want you don't want to go too far. I didn't want to go need outside. air conditioning. Yeah. <laughs> so I think so that I Richard think fits Richard perfectly so fit in your family, in your though, family because though. all of your family are so positive, are so encouraging, and yeah. I feel like... You want to take your videos and share them with someone who's going keto, but maybe their family isn't. Right. So that they can share and be like, hey, this is how we need to treat one another. And mm -hmm. all of your family seem to support each other, whatever the goal is, whatever you guys are, you know, a different person into, you have different interests. And yet mm -hmm. there is just such an atmosphere of encouragement. How did you practice that as a family growing up? Because that did not happen overnight. <laughs> yeah, and it didn't happen when we were a family growing up. This is a fairly uh, new phenomenon for, for our family. You know, me and Amber, as close as we may seem now, you know, growing up, being twins, you know, we were both teenage girls at the exact same time, you know, That's living true. in each other's That's space, true. having very different interests and sets of friends. You know, it was almost like one of those, uh, you know, TV shows where it's like, don't talk to me when we're at school, you know? Right. Like, right. <laughs> <laughs> Two different people. Yeah, like we definitely hung in, in, in different uh, circles and things like that. And of course, when you're a teenager, your mom is like, oh, mom, you know. So mm -hmm. growing up, it was really typical, but you know, we really just developed. And I think it just takes time to understand a person mm -hmm. and to really just realize who they are and accept them for who they are. Right. And then it also just takes um, an openness and a willingness to understand that maybe just because you don't struggle with something doesn't mean that someone else doesn't. Maybe because you think things are easy, another person, you know, thinks it's difficult. So mm -hmm. that really that that empathy and and understanding just came from, you know, time and, and distance. Mm -hmm. And once you go away, you really do realize how similar you are and you always come oh, back. That's nice. Right. Right. So good. That's awesome. Because, yeah, for us, family <laughs> is so important. I mean, and I, I was raised that way and Rachel was raised that way. So when we got together, it was like, wow, like family is family. Like family comes first. And so it's so <laughs> awesome to meet other people who kind of have that same feeling. Even if well, it happens when you get older and not when you're kids. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly how I feel about Richard. I was so glad to, to meet someone who is as close with his family as I am with my family. You know, I absolutely love that. He goes visits oh, his yes. sister, his mother. Every well, mine, I, all my, I have two brothers and another sister, and we're all four years apart. They're all so. exactly four years apart. Wow. Yeah. wow. So, yeah, so I had the traditional, like my mom and dad, like we all, like I never really, we didn't really fight. Like my, my big sister is basically my mom, but she, <laughs> like, she pretended to be my mom. My older brother didn't like it, but I was like, eh, whatever, it didn't matter to me. 
But like she said, like when you hit a certain age, like 20s and 30s, mm-hmm. then you start to realize now I'm like, we're so close. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. Like now they and they all have nieces and nephews. Like, yeah. I have a plethora of nieces yeah, and nephews. And that's also so. one thing I like. like there, that's another difference. There are no children in my family. Like me and my sister, we don't have oh, any yeah, children. Yeah. My younger siblings, they don't have any children. Like once you hit out, and, and none of my first cousins have children. So like my oh, wow. grandmother is stuck here, you know, not being a great grandmother yet. I'm sure she's happy about that. But, you know, <laughs> like it's, it's like it's such a difference because there are tons of children in his family. And like we are we are the babies in our family. Like we still get Easter uh, baskets because we're the babies. Yeah, yeah. Just... Christmas just got awesome because you're going to have so much cool shopping to do. Like you'll get to go down the pink aisle right. and the blue aisle. Like I love like, it. It was amazing. I actually, you know, I went over his house on Christmas. That's the, or his, you know, sister's house where the family was having Christmas on uh, the day that we got engaged, and it was literally like a scene out of Home Alone. It was just like <laughs> presents, like cousin this one, cousin Jen, like cousin. I was just like, this is amazing. Well, remember you be little me when I was I was buying just like random kid toys. Yes, and she we was were like, going, who is this for? He's what? like, oh, know, it's a dollar for? toy. It could go to someone. And I'm like, who <laughs> has random toys? And and then someone would show up that we didn't expect and be like, I've oh, got a present for you. And I was That's like, That's awesome. <laughs> just like you. <laughs> you really know what's, what's going on. Right? Then, You're just we're gonna I'm need gonna... this later. Just let me just start buying. We're gonna <laughs> need this. Exactly. exactly. Let's go back to a little bit about you, Autumn. So Ooh. I know you've talked about on your channel that you know you've always had an over an obesity problem. You've always struggled with your weight. What was the point in your life where you looked at yourself and you said, "You know what? I today is the day. Today is the day that I am going to make a life change." What was it that kind of triggered you, and how did you find keto to make that change? Uh, yeah, the great questions. I, I think the first. I would say that it would be January 1st, 2017, but even then that's not really true. I'm really going to say that it was like in July of 2017 when I, yeah, like when I decided to, that something had to change. Because once again, when you, when you are used to gaining and losing weight your whole life, you're used to being at the highest weight that you've ever seen on the scale Mm -hmm. and then declaring, no, this is it. (laughs) Yeah. You lose weight and then you gain it back. And then six months later, you're like, no, this is it. You know, (laughs) I will say that, you know, January 1st, 2017 is when I saw the highest weight on the scale that I had ever seen, which was 232.5. I mean, that was just the highest I had ever seen on the scale. And I was used to be like, okay, now here it is. I'll cut my calories to 1500. I'll eat, you know, lean cuisines and hundred calorie packs. I'll do, you know, beach body, you know, like P90X and everything like this Mm -hmm. is it, you know, but by July, I, you know, I had lost, you know, a couple of pounds, maybe 10, 20 pounds, which I was used (laughs) to doing at that point, but I just was unhappy. And for so long, I thought that a diet was supposed to feel restrictive and, oh, you're supposed to dread it. It's not supposed to like taste good. You're you're, you're not supposed to enjoy your diet. But one day I was just, uh, you know, honestly not feeling well. I had been d- diagnosed with Crohn's disease and I I literally Googled food to help you feel better. That was really yes. a turning yes. point in my life where I was like, I not only want to eat to lose weight, like my stomach hurts, you know, like I, I just want to feel better. And that's, I Googled so food to help you feel better. Practical too. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And that's when like keto diet, anti-inflammation, low sugar, you know, low blood sugar, insulin, and, and all of this information, like the science, I finally found it and understood. And I was like, okay, I'm going to try this and I'm going to give it 90 straight days and I'm committing to myself because I want to feel better. And then of of course you see all the weight loss stories that go with it, you know, but really the first thing I saw was just the lowering the inflammation and the blood sugar and regulating your hormones. And I was just like, now this is something that would really Mm -hmm. be good for me. So that's when I started. And I, and then of course, type of person I am, I spent a good month doing research. Exactly. I was like, I wanted Love to have, that. <laughs> I wanted to have a, a cell graph. Mm. Exactly. I wanted to have a plan going into it because one thing I know about myself is if I don't have a plan, yeah. I don't got nothing, you know? So I wanted to map out exactly what I was going to eat, exactly, you know, That's what, what I was going to do. And then on September 1st, I started the keto diet and, you know, and I never looked back. I love that. 
something that has been such a draw for both of us to your channel has been, and I think it's the case for a lot of people, is your vulnerability and your honesty. And you celebrate the ups and the wins and we all cheer with you and you find really fun ways to celebrate the wins, which I think is <laughs> awesome and creative. But you also share the downs. You share when you drop the ball. And I've always found that extremely brave because some people are like, hey, I started keto and like next, you know, next stop is my bathing suit. I deal mm. weight forever. And see the starting video and then you see the before and after. But it's like, no, you know, like what does the during look like? And and after is not permanent. Like, yeah, you took those pictures, but you know, what happens, mm -hmm. what happens three weeks after that? Like what happens when you I when you that. think you're I done? And and I just, you know, and that just goes to show that also keto is not a fix all. It's not keto is not what saves you. It is your shift in mindset and yeah. understanding mm -hmm. that really turns your life around. Exactly. Because I treated keto just like any other diet. Oh, I lost all this weight. I'm done. And now I can go back to how I was eating. Mm -hmm. And it's the yo -yo that's game. not, yeah, that's not how it works. So I just really wanted to show people that you it, you have to change your life and yeah. a lot of people want to sneak around it and they want to cheat around it but you just genuinely have to change your life mm -hmm. and and look at it as you get to change your life like you get to achieve things you never thought were possible right. before and and That's you know so it, ups and downs come along with it yeah people ask us about maintenance like what what does maintenance look like and i'm like i personally think there's no such thing as maintenance like just living you're either your life. always <laughs> going to be working to get better or you're going to be going in the opposite direction if it was maintenance i mean hey i i lost over 100 pounds but over the last like three months i've put on about 10 15 of those like so and i'm not eating any carbs so it's always finding the groove adjusting tweaking everything like that so i don't know if there's it's it's a change in mindset and like exactly what you said yeah and like exactly it's, it's the journey you have to learn to enjoy the journey yeah and, the, and realize like, that it never ends like mm -hmm. there is no end point there is no I stepped on the scale, exactly. I hit 155, I'm done. Like there is, there's like, no like, end. When, what does that even mean? Exactly. Like, you to sit on the couch and The rest of your life, there? I did it, exactly. So yeah. So you when are we gonna get Richard to go keto? Like what is it gonna take to just be full, <laughs> so look at it as he's leaving the screen. <laughs> <laughs> We've been trying to deal with Anthony too. <laughs> We've tried to deal with our kids as well. Yes, you know, the, the thing is Richard is, he is the most like healthy eating person I've ever na like naturally like met in my entire life. He loves steak and salad and steak and salad. You know, he enjoys his only non keto foods are really his snacks. He likes cereal. He likes gummy candy. But but the crazy thing is, you say Autumn, what do you want to eat? I want pizza. I want ice cream. I want a Big Mac. I want some cake. You know, you ask Richard what he wants to eat. It's that. I'll take a steak and some vegetables. Wow. So it's actually it's actually more you know, challenging for you than it is for him. Exactly. You know, and, and that's the and that's the funny thing. And that's also another thing that I love, but it's also frustrating is that, you know, it's interesting to be so close with someone who doesn't enjoy food the way that we do. Like a yes, twins on the unhealthy yes, level, yes. you know. But like I just like I'll just give him food. I'm like, eat this and tell me how it is and tell me how much you love. And he's just like it's okay. And I'm just like, no, that's what I, I am learning. Get excited. That's one thing I am learning is just the struggles that yeah. like you actually go through. And I'm like, wow, I never, because growing up for me, I always view food as fuel. Like it's just what you do so to, stereotypical. to get through the day. Oh, Here comes our cat. That's so adorable. So, yes, so Bill, what do I, you find like is important, Richard, for helping to encourage her? When, when you get to that moment where you're like, I don't understand how excited I'm supposed to be about these tacos right now, you know? <laughs> I, it's just, I try to just like go, I'm slowly learning. Because I said, before I met Autumn, I was really like sugar heavy and not even caring Like he would about drink like gallons of Kool-Aid and things like that, you know, just yeah. because it, it, you know, just because, them. yeah, just because, but since moving in, like I've literally restricted like all of my intake on so many levels mm -hmm. and I, 
I think it's, it's a slow process to it, I think. And I think and I think what's really helpful for both me and him is that I know what I need in order to be successful. Yes, yes. So I will tell Richard, I'll wake up in, in, in the morning and say, I'm not eating any Quest bars today. Do not, you know, allow me, re just remind me to be accountable. Like, hey, yeah. Autumn, thought you said you weren't having any Quest bars. Might want to put that down, you know, like it. Which it is it's nice knowing she says, tell her those things. <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah. yeah, you know, any other, any, anybody, if you just volunteered that accountability, you could be in a world of trouble. Damn. Wait, whoa, 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 <laughs> you, You're pointing at me, but Rachel will say, don't, I want you to make me be accountable. But then when you make her be accountable, like, it's like, that's not exactly what I meant. Yeah. Right? But, I mean, I we all have know, that. I want you to hold me accountable, but also be maybe blind. <laughs> maybe a little exactly. bit blind. Also, let me live my life. Exactly. You, you want me to be happy, right? Turn away. Mm -hmm. You know, so, it's, yeah. It's a tight It's yes. a tight And then, you know, we've also done things uh, just you know, really strict, like, hey, I'm in a bad spot. Let's zip tie this cabinet with all your snacks in it. You know, like we just legitimately are are 100 percent honest and transparent. And I don't mm -hmm. have to, like, worry about what's it going to look like that I can't control myself and things like that. Like, he's just so open and understanding. It's like, hey, you don't want to do this. Let's go. You know, exactly. Why do you think is that? That's that brings up a really good point, which I think a lot of people don't want to deal with. And that is there are going to be some things in your life that you need to put a fence around. Mm -hmm. And that doesn't mean that you're a weak person. That means that you're a strong person who knows what is both precious and things that you struggle with. And we've got to put a fence around it. Mm -hmm. Why do you think that people have such a hard time? putting a light on, hey, I struggle with this, and then being vulnerable enough to put that fence around it? You know, that's, a, once again, another great question, but I, I really think, honestly, number one, it comes down to denial, you know, like not really realizing or wanting to accept the fact that you have a problem or an issue or just something that like you don't have as much control over mm -hmm. as you would like, you know, and you can, you can brush it off a number of ways. You know, like I, I have family members that are like, I'm going to die anyway. I might as well die eating the food I enjoy. And I'm just like, <laughs> what the hell are you right there? You know, like you just I've choose, met those people. you know, and it's like, you just choose to, to be in, in denial about what? what really an issue, you know, what the issue is. But also I think another big thing, which is, which is so difficult, uh, maybe is they don't have support in their real life, you know? They, mm. they because once, they, like, I, we try to tell, I try to tell my grandmother, I don't eat carbs, I don't eat bread, you know? And it's all, you look fine, here, take these potatoes, you know? And it's just like, it's like, it's difficult when, when you don't have the people yeah. in your life yes. that will accept that and, and, you know, and try to help you with that, they either, try just because it's maybe it's not a problem for them or they don't agree that it's a problem, even if you do think it is. And so it can be really difficult, but then, you know, also just not admitting that you're not great at everything. People, right. you know, a lot of people have a problem with that. I am grateful oh that I am not one of those people. Like, and I've, I've really found that the most growth and development and honestly joy in my life has come from realizing that like, I'm not the greatest, you know, the greatest at this, I need help. And, and when that's when you go to the internet and you find that help and that's when you find two crazy ketos and keto connect mm -hmm. and AD keto and all the people that you realize are struggling with the exact same thing as you. And that's where you find the strength. So I think it's just, you know, it can be difficult, but once you, you know, turn that corner and, and, and actually you know, go out there, like your life changes for the better. Well, let's talk about that for a minute. So we talked about one of the reasons that we started our channel was because we were alone. You know, we don't have a big family and everybody that in our family was looking at us like, what are you doing? And <laughs> so we did go to the internet and we got started. I wasn't as good as you. I did not do any research. I heard keto said, oh, low carb and loaded up on Quest bars and, and like just ate super low carb and learned because back then, you know, right when you started at the same time, there wasn't as much information. There weren't as many YouTube channels. Mm -hmm. So we started our channel for like the family atmosphere. Like we're going to be the support that you don't have at home. That's one of the reasons we started. Why, what made you start your YouTube channel? Well, I started my YouTube channel pretty much to, to kind of use myself as the experiment to, to say, 
I know for a fact that you can do it because I can do it. You know, mm -hmm. I wanted to be able to show people because, you know, and I say this all the time because it was true, because I want it to resonate with someone, but I know what it feels like to feel hopeless and helpless mm -hmm. and just be like, well, I'm a fat person, you know, like I know what it feels up. like, yeah, like to be, to be sitting over a tub of ice cream, like crying because you wish you weren't eating it, mm -hmm. but you can't stop, you know, like yeah. I know what that feels like, but if I can take all of that and, and, and put it where it's supposed to go and, and, you know, and, and put the, the habits in place to be able to manage that. If I can do that, then I know for a fact that you can do it. And I really just, I want people to start to believe that themselves. Right. So I kind of started it to show like, Hey, if I can do it, you can do it. And you're going to watch me do it. And you're going to watch me succeed. You're going to watch me, you know, fail. And you're going to watch me have yeah, fun along the way. The whole entire growth. Yeah. So that leads me to my next question. We were talking about it on one of your live streams. I don't know if it was last week or the week before where people come to you and ask you for opinions, advices, coaching, things like that. And we've had people do that in our lives and they'll come and say like, Hey, tell me what to do. And then you tell them what to do. And they say, yeah, I can't do that. Like, how do you deal with that as somebody who where people do come to you and say, like, what should I do? How do you deal with people who, you know, would be like, hey, I don't really want to do that. Or how do you hold them accountable, but still be the nice, friendly person that you are? Because me, I'm going to be like, just do the right thing. Right. Yeah, no, no, yeah you know, I told you that's already. the thing. I am, I'm not the nice, friendly person at that point. I am the stern Either you're going to do what you said you wanted to, okay. or you're not. And if you're not, that's okay. Oh but goodness. like, let's stop wasting each other's time here. Yes. Like I really, unfortunately, I, I've gotten to the point where I'm, I am going to be empathetic and I'm going to say, I understand that it's difficult. I understand that it could be an adjustment, especially if you're cooking for a spouse and kids that may not be keto. Like I understand that it's going to be tough, but either you're going to do it or you're not. And so that's Direct really, to the point. yeah, that's just really what it, <laughs> what it has come down to. And so that's what I tell people. It's like, Hey, I will, you know, I'll meet with you. We can talk about your macros or if you don't understand how it goes together and we'll discuss some foods that you like and maybe put a meal plan together. But then after that, you just have it's, to do it yourself, you know, like for instance, a couple, and it just really bothers me when people don't use their resources. Um, you know, a couple of days ago, I posted my uh, zip fizz haul on Instagram, you know, oh, like yeah. all of the zip fizz mm -hmm. that I got. And someone was just like, what is zip fizz? And I was like, <laughs> but here's Google, you know, like, you know, we have the world at our fingertips. We have the the expansive oh, knowledge of man don't think right I didn't here. hear this. Do you not know? think I didn't yeah, hear Yeah, I was scrolling this. through comments and I was like, what? <laughs> so it's like I do walk the, <laughs> the fence between being nice, but then also just striving to to turn the, the mirror and say, just be better and do better. That's one of the things that I really like about Matt and Mega from Keto Connect mm -hmm. is that mm -hmm. Matt, at a certain point, he's like, just be better and do better. Like right. you <laughs> <laughs> have to do it. And I was like, some, you know, like, that's what I need to hear. You know, in the beginning, you need to be coddled and you need to be, like you know, yeah, you need your hand held and that's important. But like, once you actually know what to do, you have to ride the bike yourself. You just got to be better and do better. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, don't fall, son. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. They're so awesome together. Um, so what is something that you wish you knew before you started keto that you know now, but you're like, boy, I wish I would have known that before I started my own journey. Ooh. Well, I mean, honestly, is you don't have to do everything, you know, like when you first start keto, it's like MCT oil, bulletproof coffee, fat bombs, blah, blah, everything. blah. And then it's, it, then it became the air fryer and the instant pot and this blah. And I'm just like, then everything keto. Yeah. Labeled. Yeah. And then everything labeled <laughs> keto snack mix, keto coffee, keto creamer, mm, chemo, mm. keto, everything, you know? So it's really that like, you don't have to use any of that stuff and you don't have to eat everything that is, you know, within the keto diet. Like, you know, I talk about, I don't like avocados and, and I used to try to force myself to eat avocados, bacon, eggs, avocado, like that's the meal. <laughs> and I was just like, I don't like this. And then, and, and that I was, I was like, wait a minute. I don't, I don't have to eat the things I don't like. I can only eat the things that I like within the diet. 
And, and yeah, you don't have to just make these crazy recipes because other people like them. If mm -hmm. you're fine just eating steak and salad, just eat steak and salad every single day, you know? <laughs> and, and that's honestly, you know, what I wish I would have known because when I first started the diet, I went to Sam's Club. I spent $400 on just Wait, what, everything. Man? Exactly, right? <laughs> <laughs> that I thought used and most of it went to waste what? it's like just start with things that wow. you already like and then you can venture out from then there but like branch. there's no right or wrong way to do it the only wrong way is the way where you're not healthy and you're not happy i was just gonna say we're well, not doing it at all yeah or you're not, <laughs> it's, it's the way to do keto is to eat carbs you know so <laughs> <laughs> it's funny you mention that because yeah, when we first start, we are very frugal. And yeah. so I had I was going to a CrossFit and that's how I found keto is I was going to CrossFit and my CrossFit closed and I was getting a fifty percent discount because it was somebody who went to our church. So I'm like, I'm not spending this much money on CrossFit. So what could I do? That's <laughs> how I found keto. And I'm like, okay. So I went to Rachel. Rachel's like, okay, you can do this. But I don't want to see you spending any extra money on keto right. food. Like, I don't want to see all the almond flour because that's where, like, you got to do this with real food. Exactly. And, I mean, we slowly worked our way into it. But it was interesting because, like, we even recently were talking to Dr. Barry on one of our interviews. And he was saying, you can do this with hot dogs. You can do this with mustard. You don't need any fancy foods. Whatever you can find that yeah, like, is going to be low carb, eat it. Bag of xanthan gum, and I was just like, "What?" Like, I'm not, <laughs> just not gonna, yeah, you know, and and it's just if you utilize that stuff and it's part yes. of your journey, that's great. But it just it doesn't have to be, and it can be a lot simpler than everyone makes it. Well, and that always comes out so encouraging in all of your live streams. And I love the daily live streams. I know that is a huge commitment. That is a lot of work, but you do it. And it brings so much joy to so many people because you're showing that keto in any goal plan is mm -hmm. lived one day at a time. And, mm -hmm. and if I fail today, tomorrow morning, I'm going to get to see Autumn and Richard and it's a new day. Yeah. Um, and so that kind of connects me to Keto Palooza, which is back on, baby. Yeah. It's happening. <laughs> and so it's taking it that one step further that we need to meet in spaces. Mm -hmm. Why is having a keto meetup important to you? It, it's important because, you know, going to KetoCon last year was amazing. You know, meeting you guys in person, amazing. It was, you know, it- I couldn't stop hearing the end. <laughs> it was so amazing. It was amazing. <laughs> but, you know, I think over this journey and as YouTubers, sometimes we, take for granted or you know we've gotten used to putting our life on display you know we've gotten used to kind of being quote unquote public to where you know people know about us and we don't know about them you know right. so it's 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 something that we're kind of used to whereas if you're just say a viewer of youtube videos and may, maybe you don't make them yourself and you're not you're shy in real life if you go to a, a keto con sort of event you're just a drop in the bucket like the, it was huge and expansive it's and it can be intimidating and also you know expensive you know and so i really wanted to create an event or an environment that can be smaller and also that the the pointed goal of the the meetup was to meet people and to and to sit with people and to talk to people and to really feel like that you have made physical connections in this uh you know keto world i went to a meetup last year where, and that was the first meetup I had ever been to. And it, it, you know, we got there, me and my mom, cause my mom's keto. And it was just a lot of people that I didn't know that, you know, didn't seem to be making eye contact with you. And you know, it was real, it was real like lunch tray vibes, like walking right. into the room. It's just like, I don't, can I sit with you? Like, I don't, you know. Like and so back in high we ended up, you know, we ended up just sitting at the bar by ourselves. And, and it's like, I, I did not leave that meetup knowing one more person than when I went, you know? Mm -hmm. And I was just like, if I were to go to a, you know, a meetup or if I was to host a meetup, I want it to be a situation where you don't have to have any of those nerves at all. You know that when you walk into the room, everyone's going to be like, oh my God, it's you. 
and, and you know, and you have a place where you belong. Instant, instant family. And especially, instant family, and especially with the WAC fam that I've created. You know, the same 30, 40, 50 people, you know, join the live every day, comment on every video. Like, you know, like you, you start to feel like you know these people through the internet. And I was like, you guys, mm -hmm. If, you, if I were to host something, would you come? And they were just like, absolutely, you should do it, you should do it. And I was like, finally, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna host something, if people come, that'll be great. But if no. not, at least I know that I was doing my part to create this environment. And you know, no sooner did I open up tickets and it's like, bing, 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 and people traveling from all over the country. And it's just going to be an amazing time. And it's gonna be something that, you know, will continue like you know and oh, something yeah. that people can look forward to every year i'm, I'm just really excited about it yeah, is that are. something that people can still sign up for and where could they find it oh yes absolutely oh, so goodness. keto palooza is going to be Brace on yourselves. september 19th and 20th in louisville kentucky that's where we're from it's going to be at the aloft hotel uh, in downtown louisville it is going to be uh, like a two-day event on the evening of saturday we're going to have a meetup just your standard meetup mm -hmm. Plus, you know, so we're going to have games and activities and and really opportunities for you to get to know people <laughs> that you've been seeing on the Internet. And then on Saturday night, you have like a free night in downtown Louisville, Kentucky mm -hmm. to just explore that the hotel is so centrally located. We're within walking distance of 40 to yeah, 60 restaurants ranging from burger joint to fancy. It's, you know, however you want to get meet some, you know, take some of the friends you just met at the meetup and go and you go to dinner, you know? That next morning we are doing group fitness in the morning. We're doing yoga, you know, after that night of party. Oh, you had me till the fitness. <laughs> <laughs> Well, okay, so either come and do yoga, well, but then the next hour is dance right. fitness, and that where we're gonna have okay. the now. That's something that Rachel keeps watching. She's like, I need to. She's like, I'm not doing any of that exercise stuff. I mean, we talked about that last right. year. She's like, I'm not doing it, but you she's like, I might be able to get so into that fun. dance stuff that Autumn is doing. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's amazing. Like, I absolutely love it. So, I, you know, I wanted there to be a fitness component to it as well, if people are interested, because that's also a big part of my life. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily for weight loss, just for the enjoyment of yes. physical, physical activity. And then we're gonna close it out with a, you know, catered breakfast um, to just kind of wrap up the event and talk about, you know, Still everything that we've learned. Um, oh, so we were gonna yeah. have it coincide with the color run in Louisville, Kentucky, but that's of course been postponed, mm -hmm. uh, you know, due to the current circumstances. Mm -hmm. But we do have a couple of people that are coming in on Friday. That That's amazing, the event, doesn't even start on Saturday, you know, until Saturday. <laughs> but there are people like, hey, I want to come in early. Let's hang out. And I'm just like, of course we can. So oh, we're going to do our own Keto Palooza 5K on the waterfront. You know, that's within walking distance. We're just going to have a great, great that's time. That's and the one you can come and watch. laugh at me. Yeah, and, exactly. It's a 5K walk. Yeah, you know, a little bit. I'll walk with you. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, tickets, let's just enjoy the scenery more. Than, oh, tickets are still nice. on sale at uh, eventbrite.com slash Palooza. I'll make sure to send you guys the link if you want to do any like yeah, you know, displaying or blurbing mm -hmm. or anything like that. You can also follow Keto Palooza on Instagram. Or if you go to the Watch Autumn Keto uh, webpage on Facebook, then that is a there's going to be a linked event to yes, Keto Palooza yes. as well. So, yeah, well, we one would of love the things that. that I do love about your channel is it, it is very much like ours because it's family. It's like I getting to get onto those live streams every day and like, I mean, seeing the way everybody interacts and the way that you and Richard both have take to know like everybody that if they are popping up on a regular basis, you know them, you know their names, you know where they're from, you know, like a little bit about them. And I think that's what's really awesome. So I think this whole Keto Palooza and getting this family together is going to be incredible. Yes, I, and I am, that's what I'm most excited about. And to show people that yes, they is. are important <laughs> and they do matter and that there is support in this keto community and you don't necessarily have to have it in your your physical life. It is so, I'm so grateful that I do, but just, you know, the internet community yes. is enough, but meeting people in person at least once a year, you know, something that you can look forward to knowing that you are going to get to go to a place mm -hmm. where everyone has the same food values as you do and that you don't have to worry about what events, you know, what hors d'oeuvres are they going to have? Mm -hmm. What, you know, what temptation is going to be there? Just really making it a safe space. And this is her every second of every day. Oh, yeah, that's that <laughs> infectious <laughs> attitude, I guess. That no he's matter talking what's about. going on, this is literally her every second of every day. And My it's just goodness. So cool. Well, you're super blessed, Mr. Richard, but she is too because you're right there encouraging her, which is like super, super awesome. I did, to watch. I did not. 
know right, that right, he right. was what I needed until I met him. Like, I just, yeah. I did not, I'm serious. Yeah. Like, he is so mm. supportive and yeah. I am so particular. And I know that about myself. I because don't <laughs> 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 I've been alone for, you know, 30 some odd years. Like, I have everything just particularly the way that I like it. And, and so to have someone come into my life who is so different, but just the only word that comes to mind is complimentary. Like mm-hmm. the things that I'm super, super particular about, he's really chill about. So he doesn't mind doing them, you know, my way. The things that I don't really care about, he has a way to do them. So I don't have to think about it. Like, it's just, everything is so complimentary and I'm just so glad that I he's in my life. I completely agree. So before we let you guys go, what is next for you two? Like wh- wh- what can we look forward to seeing from well, Miss Autumn. So, you know, funny thing, uh, in which it just the timing is so crazy, but if you've been following me over on my other channel, you know that I recently quit my job, my yeah. full-time job, employment, corporate America of 11 years. And <clears throat> I just, I had to walk away because, you know, your eyes open to sorts of things and like, you know, is this what I want to be spending every day of my life doing? Something that... I don't really care about, doesn't really bring me so much joy versus when you, you know, do your YouTube videos and when you're talking on the live and it just, it brings (laughs) you alive. You're like, I want to spend more time doing that, you know? So I, and that's what I'm focusing on is just ramping up, uh, you know, watch autumn keto and, you know, more things and watch autumn, being able to host more events, be able to do more different types of videos uh, and things like that. Also, my t-shirt business, you know, like I've really gotten into apparel and branding and things like that. Mm. So that is really my next step is to expand on all of that. Really, honestly, the thought that people want to wear things that say watch Autumn Keto on it is just crazy to me. Uh, I, I'm, I just absolutely love that so much. But, you know, I want to I'm branching out into things to where if you didn't know who Autumn Ooh, was, I this like is it. awesome keto apparel and I want to wear it, you know, and yeah. so that's my next step is is just nice. I've really been getting into clothing and designs and, and, and things like that just because there is nothing like that for us. There's no, no. place to go and just get like awesome keto centric things. And that's what I want. Like I want to sport my love for keto everywhere and I want to make sure that there's a place where people can come find things that they want to be able to, you know, wear as well. So oh, that's the next that. thing that I'm doing. What and it's that? fun to make that stuff. I mean, like, we, we got, like, I guess in December, we bought the sublimation printer. And it's just fun. Like, she, she'll be catch me at, like, 1 o'clock in the morning. She's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm designing a T-shirt. This is, like, fun <laughs> to do, right? Look at this. I just cranked this, I just cranked this oh. out for, for him yesterday. That is so awesome. One of the new running jokes on our uh, on, on the channel over on the live stream is, you know, it used to be whack, watch Autumn Keto, and everyone's, well, now Richard's in there, so we got a <laughs> Wark, you know, <laughs> like, is never going to be a thing, but I, he was really enjoying it. So I was making t-shirts yesterday and I was like, I'm just going to zip up a little something for him. And, and, you know, it, yeah. it just brings people so much joy yeah. to be able to express themselves, you know, on a t-shirt. And I'm, I'm slowly making my way. I'm never going to go I'm with him on this, you guys. Making my way I'm almost the keto. keto. No, you're not. No, and, and, no. Well, well, speaking of which, I actually want to go and do like start doing like a test kitchen and start doing some. Yeah, some, like some, testing some, recipes. Some, yeah, some he, he has the, he's going to do some fat bombs and stuff. I was on a live. Yeah, that is morning. so exciting. <laughs> Like no. Our other computer screen right here is Pinterest, and it's just fat bombs everywhere. He's I, like, I, I can't stand bombs. Pinterest. Watch out, it's a rabbit hole. You'll, I don't understand you'll, Pinterest. You'll wake up from Pinterest like three days later, like, what happened? And what you're looking happened? at like little clothes to put on your rabbits, and you don't even have rabbits, but like you're there. When I started, I had to make like every one of Matt and Mega's recipes. That, that was my thing. You know what I mean? All these complicated recipes. Now we eat ground beef and eggs like five days a week. The taco bowl. Taco, taco, bowl. Bowl. taco bowl. Taco bowl. Taco bowl. Taco bowl like changed our life. Like seriously. I, I, it changed my life. I think I'm gonna do it next week. I was like, I'm sick of I don't want taco bowl. It's Cinco, it's Cinco de Mayo, so we have to do We're taco bowl. Things. Hello. No, we gotta have taco bowl. <laughs> well, Autumn, let everybody know where they can find you. 
Yes. Okay. So the good thing is it's all across the interwebs. It's the same. You want to find me on YouTube. It's watch autumn keto, all one word, uh, Instagram at watch autumn keto. You can find me on facebook.com slash watch autumn keto. But also if you want to catch my lives every day at 9 30 AM Eastern, you can find me on my second channel, which is just watch autumn. So I didn't want to bombard watch autumn <laughs> keto with these lives every day. So we have a smaller group over there mm -hmm. at watch autumn, but yeah, if you just search watch autumn keto on any major, uh, social media you know it'll link from one place to the exactly. next but that's where you can find us on the interwebs <laughs> <laughs> well guys this has been awesome thank you so much for joining us we just we love to i could talk to you guys for hours yes it's you guys are such a blessing to hang out with. <laughs> so fun. i, I can't wait till we can get together <laughs> <laughs> and you know, hopefully we might be able to get to Keto Palooza now that it's yeah. moved to a better time of the year. It'll be yeah. great. So yes, really I, looking forward to it. I would it. love to see you guys there. Yeah, and I know a lot of I know a lot of the WAC fam would too. I know whenever you guys jump into the lives, it's like, oh my God, Joe and Rachel oh, yeah. are here. Oh, yeah. so, we try to like always, even with our lives, make it where we're not like conflicting with everybody. Everybody's got a live schedule, right? You know, so it's <laughs> like you don't want to interfere with Dr. Barry, you don't want to interfere with you. Yeah, you know? so it's like, okay, where can you find the right times yes. but no. every time we make it it's it makes our day better it does so thank you yeah. just thank you for what you do we we know it's it's challenging there was it was like it went down the connection went down the other day and we were in there and people were talking and and I was like, man, I, I know what Autumn is feeling right now. It's it's all you're like is panicking, like, oh my gosh, my internet, you're like throwing things because you're like, I hate that. But you know, in the, but just seeing, you know, the connection go down and then it's like now I have to fire up another one and no one will come. And then they just all hop yeah. over. Like, oh, you're back. We're glad you're here. And it's just the support oh, of this goodness. entire community. Oh, I just can't awesome. it's just life changing and it's awesome. And you guys are a big part of I'm that. So and glad I appreciate to be a you. part of it as well. Yeah. Yeah. Late to the party. <laughs> you're right on time. Well, you're here now. <laughs> well, thank you very much, guys. We will uh, talk to you guys a little later. Have a great day. Bye. 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 <laughs> How much do you love that couple? I know, right? I mean, they're just awesome people. I love the fact that every day I get in the car and right when I'm getting in, either when I'm heading out the door or finishing up a property, their live stream is on. It just is at the perfect time for me. And it always brings a brightness to my day. I just love seeing the two of them and they're just fun to talk to, fun to hang around with. I just can't get enough of them. Yeah, so if you aren't watching their live streams, do yourself a favor and start your morning out right, yeah. really. I mean, there's such an encouragement. And then also, if you haven't purchased their shirts, she has an incredible line of products that are available that are really, really cute and super, super comfy. And she'll custom make them. So she'll tell you whatever color you want, whatever like color printing you want. You can even come up with different sayings. So she's really, really good about all that. Let us know down in the comment section though, if you're planning on getting to Keto Palooza, because yeah. I know that we are gonna try to get there when it was originally gonna be in May, it was gonna be a little difficult because we were doing traveling in April and then again in June, but Maybe in September we might be able to get there, but I'm curious shot at how it. many people are going because I am desperate for a keto meetup. And also, if there's a keto meetup in your local area, put that down in the comments down below. You never know. Like, right. Maybe there's something that another person can attend. Well, let us know down in the comment section also who else we should have as a guest on Keto and Friends. Please do us a favor, hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. Bye.